we have been trying to find the perfect camping chair for dad. Um, I find that when you spend money on a chair, it's like, well, if it's cheap, I can just deal with it, right? But if it gets to be more than $100, more than $200, I want the best chair. I want the chair that works for me. Uh, and none of these really work for me. Uh, they're all great in their own little things, but every single one of them has something that's not great. And that might bother me. It might keep me from taking a nap. It might keep <laughs> me from choosing this chair over another chair. You know, you come back to the campfire and someone's sitting in your chair because it's the best chair because that's the one that they chose. But, you know, who knows? I don't know. So we have a chair that we got for free. We have a chair that we've had for many seasons right here. Um, and we have, these are two that we just recently got over here, uh, the Eno and the Snow Peak. And then this one was an Instagram advertising special right here. They got me with that one. And then there was this one was an attempt to make the dad happy. That was the first attempt. This yeah. is the first attempt, right. But I'm going to kind of just, we, we put all the chairs, I put price tags on them because I think, I just looked up the prices uh, all and just slapped the prices on all these chairs so you know. So uh, Cascade Mountain Tech, 60 bucks. REI Camp Boss Flex Chair, 63. Eno Lounger DL, 113. Kilos Gear, 120. This is the ARM 2.0 version. Uh, a Helinox. Chair 2. Chair 2, right, 139. And then finally, uh, the Snow Peak. Uh, beach Lounge? Beach Lounger DL, low, or the low Beach, low low beach, beach. Lounger, yeah. uh, 170. Okay, so um, I think what we'll do is I'll start with this one. This is, because this was kind of our classic chair. This is like the REI Camp Boss. And some of the things that I love about this chair are we've had it for three years now, and we've been really using the heck out of it, and it's been wonderful. I like it also that it's, it's when you sit in it, it stays wide. I have a little bit of room to move around. You know, I can, you know, I can sit here and mess with the fire. There's even a little bit of lean forward on it. It's fine. But, oh, and I would also say that it has about the best, what do you call it, a seating angle? It just, like, sits, sits natural. feels it sits, good. It feels good. It sits very natural. And, and like uh, my partner pointed out, the seating angle is so good that you kind of want to slide down and you're, like, ready to start nodding off. But, oh, no, there's no headrest. So that's, now, for some people, this is not a problem. Why is this specific right. to you, Drew? I just, I really like to be. Oh, you able have a very to... long torso. Right, right, right. So yeah, I should say that too. Because uh, all of these chairs are more comfortable for me. Right. Because I'm shorter. Right. Right. Uh, yeah, Allison is shorter uh, and more normal shaped, and I have a very long torso and shorter legs. I'm not six feet tall. I'm a little shy of that. Um, and they just don't seem to really fit all that great. Anyways, I wanted to give this one the biggest shout out because I think it is only uh, 65 bucks or something like that. And it's been a real heavy lifter for all of our camping. Packs up very small. Uh, it's good for car camping. Um, yeah, I wouldn't take it backpacking. None of these are backpacking chairs. Mm -hmm. uh, but car camping, that's where, that's where we're at. That's what we're looking at today is car camping specifically. All right, so that was this one. Uh, what should we do next? We'll go right here to this uh, Cascade Tech. We got this chair for free from a friend because they said it didn't really work out. It's also really cheap, um, but it's got neat. Uh, I like the way that it's uh, got the little, the technology underneath it. It seems to work really nice. I will say, you can kind of see how it's a bit narrow back here. So when that, how that kind of has the drawback is it just feels a little bit horizontally wiggly. You know, and I don't really have a problem with that so long as it doesn't just break. And we've had this chair for about a year, and it's been pretty good. Um, it's never been a first choice chair. Though. It's never been a first choice chair, but it's got a headrest. I mean, it's got, I like that. And and if you don't uh, like the way that it's, this this guy is removable. You can, you know, maybe put it in the wash, clean up your head cheese or whatever. You can put it wherever, uh, or just not, not go with it at all. So I like the headrest on this one. It's pretty good. Real affordable option. Packs up pretty small too. Okay, now we're bouncing over here to this guy. I really wanted to love this chair, I really did. Um, 
it's got a lot of fun things going for it. We, we spent a little extra and got the, uh, the fun colors on it. That's pretty cool. One of the first things I, I mentioned when we were unwrapping this, I was like, what does this have some kind of like flotation device in it? <laughs> I mean, this does. It feels like a life jacket right here. And especially right here. Um, this feels like it's like a, an old K-pop life jacket. This one's 113 bucks. I believe it's uh, only like 105 on sale at REI without the pretty colors. And um, it feels really good. I would say this is, I think, my favorite chair out of all the chairs, I would say. Really? Yeah, I think huh. so. Yeah. It's got a nice little wiggle to it that's kind of fun. I guess apparently I've been told that Eno is also a hammock company. Is that right? I think so. You think so. Might be a hammock company. It's got a nice, nice little thought for a, a cup holder here. And two little like spandex pockets on both sides. It'd be good for like a phone or keys. And it does have a little elastic to kind of keep it in there. Um, this one has got a weird little thing where it has a low mode and a high mode. So these two, these it's got four feet, right? One, two, and then kind of a triangle guy here. And these little guys can kind of pop out and they, oh, they just go like this. No, they, they kind of clip on there. They kind of clip right here, right? So there's the low mode, and you can do that with all four. Now you're a little bit lower in case you were at a um, like a grass concert and didn't want to get sit too much in front of other people. You know, this is a high back chair after all. Also, it lets you like kind of put your feet out and really kind of yeah. kick back. Yeah. Now we're looking at these not in the field, right? We're in our living room, and so when when Allison went when to get out of the I went to sit in it. She went to sit in it, and it just... <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty funny. Yeah, yeah pretty funny. So, uh, it was in the low mode that I did that. It was in the low mode that, I mean, I just did it there. And this is a slippery floor. You wouldn't normally be rocking right. these chairs. Not a big the fan of floor. super low chairs in general. Right. Yeah. So that's but this one that's... wasn't perfect, though. You sat, we sat down, yeah. and you sat down, and what? It's not perfect. Oh, I would also mention, too, that it has a little extra material right here. And you'll see how this is going to become important on some of these that are just too short. But this has a little extra thing, so when you're kind of leaning forward here, um, not Although too the feet much on the slippery off. floor, it still kind of holds you, which is nice. It feels a little more cozy. But the headrests kind of pop your head forward. Right. The headrests, it's not great. It looks fine to me know? now, but it's still yeah. impeding optimum lounge. Yeah. I, I, it's going to keep me kind of like... My head is up. And, like I'm looking. I want to be reading a book or doing something here rather than kind of dozing off. This isn't a good dozing off chair. No. Yeah. All right. Uh, one thirteen at REI. Okay. Now we have this guy, which is uh, comes with an extra foot. I think. Oh, that's good. Uh, Instagram purchase. Don't lose it. We have to return it. Um, kilo gear. Apparently, this one's really difficult to set up and break down. So I'll. Put a little piece of that in there. Very, uh, I'd say difficult, just more difficult finicky. than you want it to be. Yeah, yeah. So the, my first impression of this one is that it feels like down here it's just trying to dump me out of it, like right almost immediately. It's like oh, it's just it's just missing about an inch down here, and the way that it doesn't really let me sink into it, I'm kind of just like I kind of just squat in front of the chair. That's what it feels like. <laughs> And it's not that bad, but it's just it's not great. And and then and then the armrests, I think they do this that they wanted to do this thing with this like modular sort of deal with their chairs so that they've got this big big pipe right here, and then you can kind of put your modules or whatever onto the pipe. And one of the modules is here, which is the armrest. So this one is the armrest 2.0 uh, something something chair, and so it's got these little armrests. And I I think it's a nice touch. Um, I kind of wish. That they, they, they feel a little over-engineered for what they are. Um, this one had armrests, but it was kind of like life jacket. And this one is more of like a strap sort of armrest. I'm okay with it. A couple of cup holders here. We'll see what it's like to take apart and put together. But now as we're starting to come up in the um, price range, my expectations also <laughs> start to go up. And this one uh, for 120 bucks is not twice as good as this one. It really isn't. I mean, it's good, you know, and if you were going to spend the money for it and this chair was sitting next to the fire and so was like two of those, you might find your kids sitting in this one, you know, because they may like it. No, nope, they end up over there. Allison's telling me they're going to end up over in that chair. So there's something to be said for that, you know. All right, Kilos Gear, Armchair 2.0. Okay, now moving over to the Helinox. This one we have set up in kind of a fun way where um, 
the headrest has got a really interesting feature with this big flap. So, you know, you normally the chair is just kind of like this. You know, very narrow sort of headrest like this here. Um, but if you want something a little more, you just get whatever you can find and just jam it in there and uh, Velcro that right on up in there. You can make it higher or lower yeah. or fluffier. You can, go, you can kind of shove it higher or lower or whatever. And, uh, and then your head rest of, we're up at the 139 range now. Yeah. And um, for me, I think this chair is maybe a little- It's too small. Yeah, it's kind of too small. It's just like a one position chair. Like it could be all right, but I can't move right or left. I can't really even slouch anymore. I love slouching. It's got the short butt, like the key. It's got a short butt. Um, does feel a little bit like it's going to dump me out of it, especially when I get my slouch on, which is my normal want. sitting mode. Yeah. You know, it's like, it's you know, too like, small. That's it's too small. That's it's kind of okay, but it's just one. It's gonna for me. It's just I'm locked into one position. It's got no armrest. It's got nothing here whatsoever. So it feels <laughs> narrow. Feels, like feels narrow. And it looks too small. Oh, look, look. Is this does have pockets? Oh, yeah. Pocket. We got a pocket here, that's nice. Only on one side. There's, all right, that's not bad. It's okay. Yeah. 139, I don't know. And then finally- I think it's have, very light. Yeah. And then, then we have kind of Snow Peak. This one took a big jump, you can see up to 170. Uh, and this one is very different than all the totally other chairs. Totally different chair, yeah. Um, doesn't pack down small. Doesn't pack down small. Um, it has, Diff also different from all these chairs, it's got the flat bottom on it. You know, the, the bottom of the chair is on tension, so it stays flat. So when you sit on it, it doesn't like whoosh, grab your butt. It stays flat, and that's nice. Um, one of the things I noticed with this chair is that it has kind of dainty armrests. They're just very thin. They're pretty, um, and they're okay. No drink holders. The material, I think it's a really plush thing about this. It's, uh, it's, it's, it is plastic, but it's kind of a grippy sort of thing. So all of these other ones, when you sit in it, you can kind of slide around. But this one, you just kind of slide around a little bit, and you're like, oh, that's where I want to be, right there. And you don't slide anymore, and that's real nice. So that makes a difference. Yeah, I got this one because you had liked it before. I did. And I said I it was like too it big, and I was trying to find something else that was you know, small that was comfortable. The, but it's the not back, getting... it goes past my shoulders, but it doesn't quite cut the cheese up here with my head. And if I get my slouch going like I would, then it's okay, you know, but... Yeah, I can do that a lot easier. It's not comfy. This is a very proper chair. Yeah. So... That's about it. We hit, a, we hit the long and the short of it here with all these chairs. There's so many of these chairs. And none of them uh, really strike the right chord between uh, lounging, price, and packability. So I think we just need to throw out price and start. <laughs> I tried. And we just got to throw one. out price. <laughs> and we need to go down to the Snow Peak store in Portland. We need to go to REI around here. Maybe the REI flagship store in Seattle. Just start setting in chairs. I'll go to a bar beforehand. Then we'll go we'll make it an activity. All right, I think that's about it. We're gonna return some of these. We're gonna keep the others, but we need them all. And then we're gonna start using the heck out of them. So, okay, thanks. All right, so this is the uh, Price is No Object chair, uh, but it's always an object. This chair is the uh, Nemo Stargaze Reclining Camp chair here. That focused. Uh, I got it. it uh, MSRP is three hundred dollars at REI. I got it on an REI sale for two two hundred and ten dollars. I have um, a long torso, so it was hard to find a high back chair that worked for me. Um, but this one does. Uh, the things that I like about it are that I can lean back. This is it's a very it's a nappable chair. So there's a lot of little things that have gone into it. Um, one of them is right here, the headrest is the correct height for me. And you can slouch a little bit in the chair in case you're even taller or whatever. Um, but you know, I don't need to. This is removable. That goes, so you can move that up and down or wash it. I even found, yeah, you can even take this bit out here. So look, there's all the 
pillow mush and stuff. You can pull that out of there and clean it up if it gets wet and nasty or moldy or whatever. Um, there. And it's got, so that's there. Uh, and then one of the best features is that it can lean back. So this is kind of like normal mode. And then right here and here, it's got these straps that kind of run through. So you can go from here into like a lean back. Very nice lean back thing. I think that must be the stargazing part of it, but it's also the napping part of it. Um, it does this without using any springs. Um, it's got you know some kind of little strap pulleys in there that give the correct amount of resistance and no springs. That's a big one. Springs die over time. Let's see. And then it's got um, the elbow rests are right in here, and it actually works pretty good. They're not super big, but you know they don't need to be. And one of the things I heard about between the previous version of this chair and this chair was that these bars would kind of bonk elbows. And this one, not a problem. Um, they bounce out, they push out just enough so the el my elbows don't hit, uh, which is great. Um, there is a nice little um, feature right here. Uh, this thing kind of slides a little bit. So when that goes onto this, this guy right here, kind of locks on it, kind of clicks on and it won't come off. That's real nice. I like that. Uh, it does have two drink holders, about the size of a beer. They go right here. That'll, that'll work out nicely. What else going down? Oh, uh, when you're sitting by the campfire or whatever, um, because it's a swing chair, it also has this kind of like fun little like lean forward mode. Um, you know, you can go like this and really get into something on the ground. Um, just because it's a leaning chair. So that's, you know, leaning the other direction. It's also really helpful. Another thing I really like about this is these are really stout, very sturdy um, posts, this, this, this post thing here. So, um, and these guys here, they can only go in in one direction. So you can kind of see, let's see, I'll turn this a little bit like here. You can see how there it's got this nice thing to say that it, and it only goes in one way because you can see it's shaped oddly. It's got kind of a flat side on it, so it only goes in one direction. And when you're putting it in, you know, it's like danger mode. It needs to go all the way up to that line. And it has that on every single attachment. So you can tell that all the pieces are in and seated nicely. So for me, this is it. End game chair, end game camping chair. And I've tried seven or eight chairs of varying levels of prices and quality. This one fits the bill for me perfectly. I'm looking forward to using it for a bunch of years. Hope that helps. Good luck. Uh, here's a picture of the um, hanging chair packed up next to the Kilos armchair.